Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul, East X Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight I am joined on mic by Tyler and Thomas. Hello. Greetings. Yeah, and we're going to stream Rift Star Raiders, which is on Xbox One and Steam. Do you know if it's on PlayStation 4, Tyler? I don't know, no. I feel like it's not, but I could be wrong. I believe it is a European game. Is there no way to comment on Electric Bento? There's not anymore. They they decided to take comments off the site, which is very disappointing to me. Oh. As they get more and more toxic, a lot of sites do that. But I don't know if we had toxicity. I never saw any myself, but maybe there was some that I don't know about. Hmm. But yeah, it's certainly the fear of toxicity toxicity that caused yeah, us to do it. Not wanting to put the effort into moderation? I guess not. I would have been happy to moderate. But then again, like I can't view the site from school. And, you know, I spent a lot of time at school, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to really help that much. If this is your first time playing, we recommend starting with a single-player story introduction event, which introduces the world of Rift Star Raiders. Oh, is this a multiplayer-focused game? I should have had my son helping out. Oh, well. Oh, it's also on PlayStation 4. Thank you, Famicore. Yeah, it is. I just looked it up, and it's half off on PlayStation 4 this week, so it's 10 bucks instead of 20 Awesome. So, if you don't win an Xbox copy and you have a PlayStation, then maybe you should pick it up on sale. Good deal. I'm enjoying some ginger ale. You guys have anything to drink? Nah. Um, I might drink later. Oh, look. This is a... a 2D-type spaceship game. Yeah, it does say it's co-op. There's co-op missions, so... Wow, co-op. I love me some co-op. Local or online? Uh, I don't know. doesn't say. I'm sure local. Well, we'll just have to learn more about it. As you guys know, with Saturday Game School, we usually spend a lot of the time learning about it ourselves. We all learn about it together. Other times it'll be a game that I played before, but quite often it's just a new thing every week for me and for you. And hopefully everyone sees the appeal in that. Right trigger to fire a weapon, and oh, you have two weapons left trigger and right trigger. Nice. Got a rapid fire one and a shotgun style weapon. And there's bad guys, and they keep shooting me. Stop shooting me. Oh, I was. I forgot that I could move and shoot in different directions. And I ran out of life like a punk, but it didn't actually make me die. Because this is a tutorial, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, probably a darker player. Johnny Walker White Walker. Oh, is what Platinum Ace Trick is having? Sounds like fun, buddy. <laughs> is this on mobile, Icky like asks? It's a console game, Icky. Icky really does not appreciate 2D production values. <laughs> it's 2.5D though, you know. It, I mean, the environments are actually 3D. I used to really enjoy this kind of game. Like, um, I forget, I reviewed at least one on Xbox 360 back in the day. What's that? A loot container. Use your grappler to rip it open. So shoot it with right bumper, and then it pulls loot out. Shield and health and money. Good. Tyler, what have you been up to today? I went shopping to Walgreens and GameStop, and then I played a video game, um, Runner 3, the new Runner game. Oh, I didn't know that was out. Yeah, just came out uh, last week for PlayStation. It's been on Switch for a while, but it just came out on PlayStation. Huh. I liked the first two games. Part 2 was too hard for me. eventually got tired of it. Yeah, they do get hard. I like them quite a bit, though. Well, cool. What's that right there? Ah, more loot. Health. Good, I need some... Well, I need shield. I don't like how your shield doesn't automatically replenish. There we go. But I do like the grappling. Hey, yup, it's great to see you. And hello, my Mitch. Welcome. Yeah, Tyler... 
Chicago wants to know more about Runner 3. Oh. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. It's good. It has a lot more like, different a lot more different things. Like there's a double jump, which I'm still getting used to, wow. and some other things. And there's like this retro mode, which is more like a traditional platformer. Um, it's not like auto scrolling, and it's just a small little mini side thing. Um, oh, yeah, cool, it's, it's really good. It's definitely the best of the three. Sweet. Is the music still pretty good? Yeah, the music's real good. And I think they did dial down the difficulty a little bit. It's, so far, I'd say it's a little bit easier than two. That's good. What I... When it launched, it was really difficult, and they got like a lot of bad feedback, and I don't think it did <laughs> very well because word of mouth was that like it's really hard and you can't get past the first two levels for <laughs> most people. So. so they fixed it. Good luck, everyone. That was good to hear. Ah, I don't, it's kind of hard to, do to dodge. I wish I had a dash move or something. I wonder if there is something like that eventually. No, give me all this money. Yeah, pushing A makes you boost a little bit. Did the game tell me that and I missed it? I wonder. I don't remember seeing it, but I wasn't like intently staring at the screen for every moment either. <sighs> co-host slacking. I know. <laughs> I blinked a few times, almost <laughs> sneezed, and I had to shut my eyes. God, Tyler, we gotta get you wired up. <laughs> None of this blinking nonsense. You'll need to power up, so I gotta power up the door. Shoot your grappler with right bumper. So what am I supposed to be shooting it onto? Oh, that thing. All right. Well, pulling things around is fun. Where am I supposed to be pulling it, though? Oh, I see. So I broke it off of that. Press again or boost to detach. Let's see. Oh, didn't didn't move it the right way. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be taking this. Toe cells to the power manifold. So where's the power manifold? Way back there? Someone tell me what to do. I don't like not knowing what to do. Um, go to the power manifold. Follow the yellow indicator, he says. Okay, I'm trying, Icky. Hey, Kronzenberg, how are you? Nice cat emoji. Ah, bad guys. Was that the power manifold? Was it that easy? It was just the center of the room? System failure. Let's try this again. The enemies are annoying! It's a dark game. It's like... I don't know, hard to see some things. Yeah, Maybe that's... it looks better on a big screen. Yeah, because the enemies are really dark, and they're black and blue, and the background is black and blue. There could be more contrast, yes. Hopefully the other levels are. Yeah, we shall find out. But now I have to get over those yellow doors. How do I get over there? So all these doors are closed. Toe cells to the power manifold. Can't go oh, that way. Go grab that thing that's 900 away, and then tow it back to that thing that's not showing you. See, I don't see... Oh, did that door actually open now? Oh, I can shoot this door. Why did I not know that I could shoot it? Sorry, guys. I never said I wasn't silly. I think Yup is saying that he's not getting a good frame rate on the stream. Is that what you're saying, Yup? Alright, more bad guys. Great. Stop shooting me! Yeah, no issues for me on the stream. Looks real good. Thank you. And we're going to have some stream upgrades pretty soon because thanks to Black Friday and again a credit card with no interest for a long time, I have ordered a new video card for my computer. The computer that Brian and Alejandro built me. So, once nice. I get a new... Yeah, the lack of a video card is affecting my computer's performance, if not the performance of the stream. So, once I get that, we should no longer have any kind of hardware performance-related issues. 
Yeah, and I'll be able to play computer games and stream them if I want, which would be nice. So what video card did you get? Uh, it's a... I think a Gigabyte was the brand, I think. 1060 with 8, with eight gigs of... No, with 6 gigs of RAM. I was surprised Newegg actually did not have particularly good Black Friday deals on video cards. Uh, so, uh, right now, chipsets are overpriced, so there's no good deals on video cards from anybody. I guess that's why. Yeah, it was between a an AMD 580 and an NVIDIA 1060. And for whatever reason, Brian really favored the 1060, so that's what I went with. I trust his recommendations. Honestly, at that performance level, there it's a toss-up. Uh, for uh, playing games, the 1060 is a little better. Content creation, the uh, AMD is a little better. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I only need it to be 1080p because I these monitors are not 4K and they're not going to be for a long time, or anything bigger than 1080p. And yeah, it'll. I mean, it'll be plenty good enough for my needs for a while, and then in a couple years, then I can get something better. Yeah, that is a shame, Yup84. I tried to read about like crypto mining and stuff, and I just uh, don't understand it at all. I know it's lame, but it, it's hard for me to say exactly why it's lame. Because uh, you are going to spend a lot more money trying to build a rig for it than you'll actually make money. <laughs> you use electricity all the time and stuff, right? Yep. Yay, I'm getting stuff. I want achievements, though. I'm not getting any achievements. Maybe after I finish this level, right? You're real close now. I'm on the other side. Don't touch or shoot the mines. Any contact will set them off. Oh, great. Now it's telling me to use the right stick for aiming in combat. Like, uh, don't you think I needed to know that when I fought all those bad guys up until now? <laughs> yes. I love games that give you that information after you've done it 20 times. <laughs> yeah. Ah, just died. Crap. Respawning in. Okay, I hope there's not an achievement for not dying. Perk. Okay, what do these perks do? I can't get that perk because it's behind mines. What if I just shoot the mines? Does it. No, nope, that just kills you anyway. Good to know. Shooting the mine kills you? That's bizarre. I know, I wasn't even close to it. Ah, so I just gotta work my way through this maze of mines. Ah, crap. Oh, I also, I also, Event uh... failed. Oh crap, did I actually <laughs> fail the whole level? I didn't know I had limited lives. Wow. And why make you go through all that stuff only to get right to the end of that? Oh, that makes me... Annoyed. Back to Arcadia. I don't feel like redoing that. Apparently I was only in there for 12 minutes. It felt like longer than that. Famicore, are you saying that there's online? So now we've got some kind of story thing. I think he's asking if you can play co-op. Um, but yeah, it is co a co-op focus game, I believe. But I don't know. I don't know how it would be local. Maybe it, you just all have to stay on the screen. Maybe then it's not local. It's but the out. world, yeah, maybe it is online. But the whole world's so big, it seems weird that you'd all have to stay so close. But maybe you'd want to anyway to fight waves of enemies or something. I don't know. Could be. Let the good times roll. It's definitely a co-op focus game, Famicorp. It says that right in the description. But we don't know if it's online there. Loadout, multiplayer options. Let's go look at the options. Controls, default, weapon one, weapon two, boost, combat, dodge. So left bumper is also boost, not just A. Okay, audio, that's yeah, fine. Lives, oh look, you can turn your lives up. Why was it at 2 by default? That was lame. Alright. 
loadout. Unlock, use collected loot, perks, and cash to change your ship's loadout. Okay, so how do I know what I actually collected? Because I, I think it did give me one thing. Bunch of different junk you can equip. This looks like one of those games that might keep you in menus too much. No, not that. Yeah, uh, oh, and there's all these, I see, some unlockable perks and stuff. All right, I purchased an upgrade select perk, and I did not get to keep the perks I had picked up. Or at least I got one upgrade. Achievement for that. Yay, finally an achievement. Five gamer score. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> Banner? Oh, yeah, if, if it only had 200 gamer score, you would be, you know, a decent amount. But <laughs> out of a thousand, it's like nothing. Yeah. Just a drop in the ocean. Okay, it looks like it actually is online multiplayer, so whoever won, why don't you join me? Who won the contest? I don't think the codes have gone out yet. Icky, send out the code. I need more people to play with. So is there actual matchmaking, or is it just invite friends only? Because that's actually what it looks like. Yeah, lobbies would be good. No lobbies. Boo. Oh boy, I should have gotten my... If I realized this was multiplayer only, I would have had asked my son to play on the other TV. Whoops. Oh, yup, 84. I'll, I'll be happy with its normal performance. I don't, I don't need like 10% extra performance. Like once, once I have that decent video card, it'll be good enough for what few games I'll play on it, and the whole computer will just run better, and that'll be nice. Also, changing the SSD over to a five. A 500 gigabyte one? Yeah. And giving the one that Brian gave me, putting that in my son's computer that I'm building for him. Okay, winner hasn't been said yet. Alright. Lyle, well, we gotta get the code to the winner so they can hop online and play with me. Alright, Darker Player, hop online and play with me. Way to go, Darker Player. She only won like a couple of weeks ago, too. Waste of unused power. Now, remember... Brian, we talked about it. I was going to put the old 240 gigabyte SSD in the system I'm building for my son. All right, I'll just do event select. Uh, it looks like I do have to complete the... Oh, there's a level one. I don't know, let's just redo that level. It should go a lot faster now that I know what to do, right? Hopefully. You'll until you get to that weird mine part. Ah, that was so lame. But I have turned up the number of lives... So that should make it... I mean, it'll give me some breathing room. Yeah, so far this is decently fun. I bet it is much better with other people. Am I too quiet, Chicago? Is that what you're saying? Let me know, guys. I am too quiet, he says. Okay. Aren't you usually a little bit quieter than the rest of us? Usually, yeah. Until I upgrade microphones at some point in the future. This stream knows what the people want, so it just <laughs> turns your guests up louder than you. <laughs> Maybe that's right. People tune in for the Tyler. That's right. Help. Well, I have to duck out in about ten minutes, so you better get your fill of Tyler. Uh-oh. Okay. Tyler, tell us more about your Black Friday shopping. Um, I didn't do that much Black Friday shopping, actually. I got some stuff on eBay. eBay had like a 15% off code. Yeah, that was So good. I bought a few little collectibles. And then GameStop had some $8 Funko Pops, so I bought a few of those. And that was mostly about it. I didn't need any big things or any electronics or anything this year. No games? No. I, I, I don't buy that many games. I have so many games. That's true, because you still get games for review. Yeah, once in a while for review. Um, yeah, I mean, and I do buy a lot. I, I haven't anymore, but before, like, Gamers Club and everything ended, I buy a lot of games at launch and play them. So a lot of the games that are, like, 30 bucks or whatever, this Black Friday, I've played already, so. Hey, 
And uh, don't you sometimes... Don't people sometimes give you games in order to get you to stop harassing them? Yeah, once in a <laughs> while, like... I'll send, like, a couple hundred tweets to developers and stuff and, like, threaten their family and their livelihood. And then they give me a copy of their game, and then we're all good. Do um, not do that at home, kids. <laughs> yeah, we don't recommend it. Just because it works for yeah, Tyler, God of War doesn't. For <laughs> God of War for 17 bucks is a really good deal, but I bought that. You know, I got I got that at launch. And another really good deal I thought was Dragon, Dragon Monster Hunter World. Um, for 15 bucks at Target, but again, oh. we have that and played it earlier this year. Yeah, Dragon Quest was 30 at Best Buy and 35 at Amazon. Pretty good both ways. Dragon Quest 11. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and Dragon Quest games traditionally don't get discounted very often, if at all. Like the DS games, they highly retain their value. So it's yeah, those do for sure. Nice to be able to get one of them for cheaper. And I, uh, my friend bought Spyro and let me borrow it, so I played the first Spyro. Yeah. It was, How'd you it like was it? okay. It wasn't. It was. Well, it's really easy. Like, I don't know. I never played it originally. Um, if it was like a kids' game or whatever, it's just a little easy. So it kind of felt like just a collectathon without a whole lot of challenge or puzzles or anything. But it's nice. It looks really good. And, but didn't you enjoy it a little bit less because of the lack of subtitles? Oh yeah, that really just killed me. <laughs> I, I, do, I do understand why it's an issue, but no, it didn't bug me. Yeah, I really like subtitles, so... You know, I'll... So the only thing that doesn't have subtitles is this little tiny conversations between Spyro and the dragons when he rescues a dragon, and they're mostly very throwaway and useless. Oh. Like, the cutscenes do still have cuts. Uh, subtitles. They do? Okay. Huh. Yeah, Cause... I believe so. There's really not that many. There's very little story going on in the game. Like, it probably know. gets more as you get to the sequels, I would imagine. You know, I would think so too. Bigger budgets and all that. Yeah, and I would guess that this one was an earlier PlayStation One game. You know, and and they'll get a little deeper as the generation went on. Yeah, you know, the original appeal of it was it was the closest thing to Mario sixty four that you could get on a PlayStation One. Right. Well, that's what it reminds me of. But Mario sixty four is significantly better. <laughs> Uh, you're hurting Naughty Dog or Insomniac's feelings. Whoever made it. Uh, yeah, who did it? Was it Insomniac? Yeah, it wasn't Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog was Jack and Dexter. Yeah. And Crash 2, right? Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm off a of generation. <laughs> Naughty Dog was Crash, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who is Jordan? Who are you talking smack to, Jordan? Darker player, are you downloading the game now? Because I really do want somebody to play co-op with. Darksiders 3 is out next week. Are you looking forward to that, guys? Yeah, that's cool. I want to yeah. play it, but I don't get to review it, so I'd probably want to get it right away. Yeah, you know, I, I bought the collection on Xbox One, which has one or two broken achievements that they refuse to fix, which sucks. Yeah. And I, But I've never played the games, so... Yeah, Darksiders 1 is really good. 2 is okay. I think the 3 is not going to be very... Like, the reviews are going to be a little rough. Like, I'll get it down the line, but I don't think it's going to be great. Why are you wary about it? Um, Just because it's like a whole different developer, and, I mean, I'm not sold on THQ Nordic's development talents and abilities. Um, But also, it, it just seems like it kind of came out of nowhere, and has a, had a fast release cycle. I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but... Um, yeah, just weary. And it's not like Darksiders is an amazing franchise in the first place. It's kind of like a metal version of Zelda, right? You know, like a yeah. like gothy. The, the first one for sure is, yeah. Well, like, the second one's very similar to Zelda still, yeah. So if they can retain that, there still are not that many big-budget Zelda-type games that get made. Besides Zelda. Yeah, no, there's not. Um, no, there's Four Horsemen, Icky. So this is the third of the Four Horsemen. Interesting. Well, it is good for them to finish off the story, if it's like that. Yeah. 
You know what else was supposed to have four horsemen was X-Men Apocalypse. You know, like the main bad guy Apocalypse, he has a bunch of horsemen. But that movie was super lame, and they really botched the idea. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I didn't hate Apocalypse. I mean, it, was, it has lots of flaws, but... I really... I truly did. Do you know Oscar Isaac, the guy who played Apocalypse, didn't enjoy making it either? There's an interview where he says he was looking forward to working with good actors like uh, the guy who plays Magneto and such. Mm -hmm. and, J and James McAvoy. But then he... Like, his costume was so bulky and restrictive that he just had to, like, sit down in a closet and try to stay hydrated the whole time so he couldn't talk to anyone and he could barely move his head or see... So that must have sucked for him. And it's ironic because the costume is so awful. <laughs> Truly yeah. awful. And there are... Uh, well, there Fox, are they're yeah. good at making bad movies. They're good at messing up comic book things. But, I mean, like, there's cosplayers who make better Apocalypse costumes than he had. Like, true, they would... You know, you can see the seams a little bit, but they're just more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, I'm back to the mines part. Let's see how this goes this time. Oh yeah, Starlink was on sale. I don't know why anyone would buy that, but it was on a good sale. Is it really not that good, Tyler? I don't know. It doesn't it's mediocre based reviews. The Switch version in particular sounds cool because it comes with yeah, the Star Fox. Yeah, uh, Star Fox, I agree with that, yeah. And the ship looks really cool in that box. If it ever goes on clearance, I'll just buy it for the ship. Yeah. Lightspeed doesn't like Ubisoft. So I'm at the mines part. I have already died once at it. There's got to be really a way to... I think they just want you to, like... I'm Now I'm just tapping the stick instead of holding it, and that seems to be managing my speed a little better. You got some inertia going, but it's unpleasant. Yeah, it's dumb. And don't you have like a health bar? Why does it have to instantly kill you? Just to be mean. Ah, no! I gotta stop trying to get that item because that'll also kill me. <laughs> like, you, it creates a little inertia when you tug at yeah. something. And what if you shoot me. the mines from outside that area? I, I could swear that killed me last time I tried it. Okay. So I'm just going to dodge. Because, I mean, think about it. It would be perfectly easy if you could just shoot him from a distance. All right, we're going to ignore the item. Yeah, exactly, Lightspeed Halo. This is not good level design right here. Ah, oh, I got too much. Okay, come on. I got two lives left. Yeah, this is bad. That's what makes me think that there's something better, better way of doing it. But yeah, you might be right. Who knows? It's the way they stick it at the end of a level that ah, that takes time to get through. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna fail it again. Get through the mine depot. I just want to go ahead and apologize to everyone for sucking at this. This is the developer's fault, not mine. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Just really lightly tapping. Oh god, I just. It's really close right there. So, you know, the new season of Mystery Science Theater 3000 is on Netflix. I said it good. Well, I've only watched the first episode out of it so far, which is the movie in which they, uh, you know, back on the movie Mac and Me. And uh, Mac and Me is like a, a late 80s E.T. ripoff that is over... <laughs> it's got like very obvious Coca-Cola and McDonald's product placement. Like super, super blatant. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, I still find that movie just darn charming in a like so weird it's good kind of way, you know? Like it is really bizarre. And uh, so I... Uh, yeah, I quite liked the episode. I'm a little... All of the episodes are now limited to 80 minutes, and I'm a little fearful of that. By the way, I made it through the mine section. Nice. Yeah, but will I survive this part? Because I'm out of lives. That's 
what I'm worried about. Ah! Please don't let there be anything else. Just don't. <laughs> I mean, nothing else. This needs to be the end of it. What is, what is Jordan doing wrong? Oh, Fortnite deep freeze code. <laughs> Jordan, why are you trying to sell it to Lightspeed Halo in particular? <laughs> Like, dude, must be a Fortnite pro. Perhaps so. Okay, attach my grappler to the ship and hold Y to revive the ship. Yay! Let's get out of here, she says. I think this is the end of the level. No, I have to escort her? Are you serious? <laughs> well, have fun. I have to head out, but it's uh, been fun watching this game. Yeah, thank you, Tyler. Yeah, see you guys. Have fun. Oh, great. So I have to... Why would I want to boost like that? Like, boosting doesn't send you forward, so I really don't think I should do that. Alright. You know, I still really like the, the co-op mode of Fortnite. I've never actually no, played that I'm... mode. Ugh. I don't get this. Do you have to boost just to get through this? Is that the idea? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But it, I mean, like, it boosts... No, that time it boosted me forward. Why is that boosting me forward and other times it boosts you sideways? Maybe it's you're not your holding. inertia. So point your ship forward and make sure you're completely still. Yeah. Darn the inertia. I need to get... You still just float around a little bit. Ugh. No, got it. Oh, oh, I'm scared. When is my shield going to refill? I don't like being this antsy. So I'm having a hard time lining up my ship correctly to use the boost to get through here. This game seems like it has some nice ideas, but needs a lot more polish. That's my current verdict on it. I was playing this game called Celeste earlier, you know? That game had a lot of polish. And also, my ship is kind of like floating around a little bit, even after I stop. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. No, god! Ugh. Go back to Celeste. I agree, Chicago, but we do have to give these people their hour of streaming. We go. Yeah, I drew, instead of trying to God. buy the physical uh, cop, buy the digital version. I made uh, it. Uh, right now, Jordan's looking at uh, Diablo Eternal Collection. Diablo. Yep. Eternal Collection. What's that? Just the game with the uh, all DLC. Yep. Ah. For which platform? Uh, Xbox. Oh, nice. He apparently was trying to find it in the store, but couldn't find it anywhere. That's a shame. Is it not on sale digitally? Uh, it is. Right now, my ship has pretty much everything on sale. Yeah, some very good sales. Some are less. I bought Lego Batman 3 Deluxe Edition, which has all the DLC for 875, and that game has some really nice production values. Oh, now there's a bad guy after me. Come on, at least give me life first before I have to fight. Ah! No, I'm really low on life. I don't like that. Yep, yeah, stupid boss fight with no replenishing of items or anything. Not fair. I need more life! Ah. Weird. Now we're doing what we can. Ah! I'm trying to think if I watched anything else. I watched a little more My Hero Academia. I think I'm four episodes in now. I'm still liking the show. It actually does get a little better as you go along, which is nice. The main protagonist is kind of annoying. He's really whiny. Uh, well, he's supposed to be. Yeah, it's, it, pretty much you watch enough anime, that's... The, uh, a trope. Not acting 
Yeah, they. You're right. I mean, like that put me off about Evangelion, and it puts me off about this show, but not so much. I mean, there's other characters who are more interesting, like the guy who. That? Oh, yeah. Oh good. I was gonna say the. What's the guy's name? The one who gives the main guy's powers. Not the spoiler. Oh, uh, uh, I'm forgetting his name. Super Mighty or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah. uh, God, I can't think of the name. <laughs> All Might? Is it All Might? Yes, that's it. All Might. All right. Yeah, like, All Might is actually pretty interesting. I like him. And his voice is done by the guy who did Piccolo's voice, I believe, in Dragon Ball Z. Good luck, everybody! But yeah, I'm all, I've already uh, up to season three. Nice. Uh, I'm waiting on the movie because uh, season two ends with a uh, not for the movie. Interesting. I did not know there was a movie. Isn't there a video game too? Uh, there's a couple video games actually. Ooh. Kind of like um, the uh, Goku movies or Dragon Ball Z uh, games. I mean. Yay! I beat the boss. Uh, well, certainly there are lots of those. You know, I have Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and I've never even played it. I'm really. not giving up on fighting games, to tell you the truth. Aww. I still enjoy them, not competitively, but just like single player mode or just casually playing against my students and stuff like that. Since I have the video game club, I, I get to play games with the kids. Like, I just play a little bit. I mostly just spend the time wrangling and managing it, but fun to play with them a little bit here and there. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Enter the warp gate. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I believe I beat the level! Awesome! <laughs> and the achievement for beating the level is called Ready Player One. Loot collected, three. Loot found, three little things there. Okay back to Arcadia, so let's go do that. Thank you. Darker player is at 90%, so if I can kill a little time, we may be able to get darker player in the game. What about the second person who won? Have they installed it yet? Or is that what we've just done right now? Thank you, BX Latino. Thank you, Famicor. So do I have a better gun yet? I, I'm afraid to change guns. What if I click on the same gun? Are there... Yeah, there are little custom things you can do with it. I don't... You know, games like this always make you mess around with your equipment a lot, and I don't necessarily want to. And I just go for the biggest gun that lets you upgrade and leave it to the rest alone. Too much hassle otherwise. So I've equipped a perk, and now I can do one more upgrade. Reduce the delay before shield energy starts to replenish. Increase efficiency level of the perk slot. Don't care. Increase the shield maximum energy capacity. Which one's better? I think I want it to replenish sooner. Yes. Alright. And I do not have another perk to go to the next thing yet. But, good start so far. What about hull? Oh, I got a new skin. It's darker though, it may be a little harder to see. But we'll use it just for a while. Boost drives. There's two types. Yeah, I don't really want to do all that. Okay. Darn it, Darker Player. This doesn't even look like that big a game. So, I can do Event 1 now. You impress Betty, so she's cut you in on the heist of a lifetime. Based on some intel of a secret vault hidden in one of the strongest pirate gang compounds, she wants you to break in and steal what's inside. Rewards info. What do you get for doing that? A whole... You definitely get 6,000 Starbucks, and I think a whole skin and banner. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, I see. You may or may not get those particular things. So, interesting. Yeah. Alright, let me pour a beverage... Is that so, Jordan? Yeah, I was real into Clicker Heroes for a while. Then they did this big update, 
update to it, they changed how a lot of the mechanics work, and I was like, oh, no thanks, that's enough. <laughs> I don't think he actually does, Jesus Ninja, I think he's joking. But, I mean, I don't know. I thought it was really neat at the time, but I have a turbo accessory that lets me, you know, like, kind of have an easier time than a normal person would have with it. So there's that. Okay, what's our percentage now, Darker Player? I know this isn't very exciting waiting for me, guys. But I really only feel like doing maybe one more level. Would we all be happy with just one more level, as long as it was in co-op? I think I would. Who won the second round of codes? Icky. Uh, uh, Sean and Stig and Jordan. Oh, I don't think I have them on my friends list. Uh, yeah, that's a shame, Darker Player. That's some really terrible download speed. It's like AT&T's basic speed or something. Okay, good, you can play. So invite friends, I'm inviting you now. Come on, co-op. Let's do this. Yeah, I gotta think about what I'm gonna get my wife for Christmas. It really depends on how my eBay auctions go. Cause like I said, uh, you know, just finances have been tight where I, uh, I applied for some store cards, I got them. I've never been able to get credit cards before you guys, but now that I ostensibly earn 50,000 a year, that apparently qualifies me for credit, which is cool. But, nice, yep, nice. Yeah, anyway, let's just hope my auctions do well. If they do well, I'm going to be really happy. I have a Transformers lot with a bunch of unopened Transformers, 10 open Transformers. That one is at 40 right now, and it's got three days to go. It's had nine bids, I think, something like that. So that one is actually doing quite well. I'm happy about it. Yeah, way to go, Sean Sig. Oh my god. Let's try again. Well, as far as uh, getting her presents, uh, you can never go wrong with Julie. One thing everyone on the planet wants. That is true, and mine does like jewelry. Yeah, no worries, Jordan. I just want to get Darker Player in on the game and play another level, and then we'll probably be good there if she'll get in here. You know, mine's not real into purses. I think she would enjoy some undergarments. Oh, you might enjoy them more than her. <laughs> well, I mean, she she wears them pretty well, but that that kind of stuff is really hard to pick out without the lady being involved. Yeah, maybe a gift card for that? I don't know. It's just I'm just thinking. Just trying to find things she would like. Does she have any hobbies or interests? She likes TV. Um, she likes um, drinking fun beverages. What's not? Yep. Okay, Darker Player, please just keep joining me until you get in. You gotta get in. Like, I don't think... Sorry, go ahead. I don't think I even have to invite her for her to get in. I think she should be able to just join. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, 84 agrees. Yeah, so maybe that's what I'll do, guys. There are a couple little things that I know she would like. So we'll see about it. I did a but You know, Thanksgiving break is almost over. And I have not gotten any grading done. I'm so embarrassed about it. I still, I'm gonna have to just grade a bunch tomorrow. It's gonna be like all I do until I take my daughter home. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna play a level, the next level one player.
the fact that there's no matchmaking is a very unwise design decision on their part. Event select. Toggle ready. Okay, here we go. I've never quite understood why games would be released in this day and age for multiplayer and not to have those kind of features in it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's an indie developer. They probably just cut corners. Well, even still, you they have uh, resources that just provide those. Like, what it's uh, what's that one gaming server where it's basically the uh, engine access is effectively free unless if you make over a certain amount of money. Uh, and so they have resources like that out there. Yeah, that would have would have been good to try to use maybe. Yeah, don't worry about any more darker player. I, I gave up. Um, but yeah. No, I'm afraid not. I did some cleaning. I watched my daughter. I did a lot of things regarding those eBay auctions, like getting all those things like gathered up and photographed, and then you know weighed and listed. That took some time. And, um, yeah, it was just, the week was over too fast. Okay, locate the vault. Let's go do that. But no, I am a little embarrassed. I should have, oh great, stupid mines again. Anyway, I should have gotten more done. But the cleaning, I really did do a nice amount of cleaning. Okay, avoid the beams and you'll be all right. So that's a cool mechanic. Just don't get caught by the scanner beams. Actually, I'm just getting a little deja vu playing this. Ah! No! Ah, God, they're everywhere! I don't think I actually... What don't I understand about avoid? I don't think I did touch that. No, you just barely crossed one of the beams as it was moving away. Ah, oh well. Wait, what's in the other one? I want to go see what's in the other one. I do like the whole getting loot and, you know, like replaying levels to get more loot seems to be how the game is designed and that can be pretty fun oh boy this one's got like a big radius I have to try to avoid but I can get some items if I'm careful and so far so good No, God, I set it off. Ah, let me alone. Okay, I made it through. My shield does recharge faster, which is nice. It's got some nice laid back kind of westerny music. minefield yep don't appreciate those at all they are super lame oh uh, what's this that must be the source of the shield energy so I have to get around the shield and deactivate it somehow I think that's what's going on here let's just see how we do did I tell everyone that I'm buying my sister's car and she's already given it to me I've been without a car for a long time, so now I've got her car and I'm able to drive it around some, which is really nice. The bad thing is that I should limit how much I drive around because it has a bunch of problems that need to be fixed because there's risk of damaging the car. You know, so I am having to drive it some, but it's better not to drive it very much. What type of car is it? <laughs> well, I, I'm not, I mean, it is a very humble car. It's a 1999 Toyota Corolla. I think is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's still... They do it in their time. Yeah, I love... I mean, I love Toyota and Honda, so I... And it's just... It is pretty old, but... But it works. And I've ordered the parts to get it fixed. And I ordered them on Black Friday and got 25% off as a result, which is super cool. So once I get those parts, then... It's still going to need other stuff after that, but it'll be more safe to drive it around when they get here. And I've got a friend who's also a teacher who's going to help me out with that. 
Yeah, that's true platinum. Honda and Toyota for life. I my old car was a Honda Civic and I had it for years and I loved it. I mean I really loved it and I was quite depressed when I totaled it. Ah, they're kicking my butt. My son's been trying to talk me into getting a uh, new car. He wants me to get uh, uh, one of those uh, electric cars, the uh, Teslas. Yeah, those are fancy, but they have they have problems sometimes, don't they? Oh yeah, but these days that's pretty much every car. <laughs> More computer than car. Ah, this is really hard. This part. But the enemies are dropping health when I kill them, which is good. But it's like sure is a lot of trouble over here. I think I can kill the enemy generators, so that's what I need to be doing. Ah! I haven't actually died yet, that I can tell. Leave me alone! God, there's so many of you! Ah! Oh, now they're shooting mines at me? Leave... Ah, that's crazy. It's hectic! Uh, whoa, I got knocked through the shield. It's not supposed to happen, probably. That time I died. Respawning in two. Okay. Oh no, do I have to redo that whole part? I'm kind of scared that I do. No, they, they seem to have stayed damaged, the parts that I damaged. Stop shooting me! This would be a lot more fun with a partner, just saying, ahem. <laughs> ah. If I realized this was this co-op focus, I would have, like, scheduled for you or somebody else to have the game for the stream, you know? But they didn't yep. explain that. I mean, they gave, you know, they gave us one code for the streamer, and that was generous of them. But, like, if you really want your game to look right, you know, if it needs another person to look right, then provide the extra code for that too. That is my advice to developers everywhere. Are they still generating enemies? Yep, you gotta blow up all those hangers to stop it. Well I got I got through. <laughs> Try to take a drink without pausing and they're coming after me. That's not appreciated. Leave me alone! Ah, they just don't want to leave me alone. This reminds me, there was an early Xbox 360 Star Wars game. I mean, Star Trek game that was kind of like this. Star Trek Armada or something like that. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, I played it a while and I got almost every achievement. I think there were a couple of DLC achievements I didn't get. It was okay, it wasn't anything special. But this kind of... Me, oh, yeah? I was going I haven't played Star Trek Online in a really long time. Aw, same here. In fact, I may have even uninstalled it. If the user interface on console wasn't so clunky, I would just... And if it didn't do that stupid thing where it you know, the enemies are, like, way overpowered if you're not the same levels as your partners. Oh, yeah. So that was very annoying every time we did a stream for it. Okay, so i got to get over here and destroy this thing. Good. This is decently fun. The only thing that's keeping me from really enjoying it is the fear of running out of lives. And maybe just knowing that I should be playing it with somebody else. You know, unfortunately, Darker's having problems with his Xbox. Yeah. This is a shame. Ah! Yeah, Sean Sig, did you install it yet? Oh, get back to the vault. Okay. 
Oh, it looks like I may be able to beat the level. That would be nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, back on plan now. Find the hack. Oh man, there's more stuff. Dang it. Uh, avoid the beams. You know that means you're going to get hit by beams. <laughs> News? You should trade in. Oh, get uh, more of those scanner beam things. Well, I'm real close to one, so let's go get this one. Uh, I don't really see what I'm supposed to do over there. If you could knock out these things that are making the beams, that would be nice. That would make it easy. True. Good. But, if you successfully hack it, that does disable the defenses, which is cool. So, thank you for that. Oh, and then you can just blow it up. But do they drop items? Doesn't look like they do. Oh, they, they're only temporarily disabled. Dang it. Well, I wish I had known that. Hey. Ah, stop shooting things at me. It makes me angry sometimes. Ah. They're just flooding the area with mines. I've also been reading a comic book called Monstrous. It's too bad we don't have a bunch of comic book readers in the audience. But this book, Monstrous, is super good. It has the most gorgeous art by this Japanese artist who worked for Sega. And the writing is done by an American. And it's like, it's quite similar to a fantasy novel, but like the art is just ridiculously good and the story is very interesting and deep. Yeah, I haven't read a comic book since I was a kid. That's too bad. You know, they've only gotten better over time. There's a lot of stuff that's specifically for adults. Oh, no, I used to have like first editions and all that, uh, but uh, at some point oh, my crap. mother decided that comics were evil and she uh -huh. destroyed my collection. And I have not had a comic book since then. That's terrible. Eh, well, Haven't you moved out yeah. of her place by now, though? It's, well, like I said, I just haven't even touched a comic <laughs> book since. I actually also have not seen her since then. <laughs> really? Since you moved out? Yeah. Where is she? I'm live? not even sure if she's alive or not. Uh, she went back to Africa. Wow, jeez. Well, that's sad that you guys are. What about. Do you have uh, other family who you stay in touch with? Uh, I have other family. They try to t keep in touch with me. I make a point of uh, pretending I'm too busy. Half the time I am, the other half the time they don't need to know that. Well, that, that sounds a little bit sad, bro. No, no honestly, I'm one of those people that actually prefers to be. A, uh, the, uh, prefers the quiet of solitude. Honestly, if it wasn't for the kids in my life, I probably would ignore every single human being on the planet. Oh, goodness. Okay, gotta hack this thing, and I'm gonna get killed while I do it. Hack it! Okay. Okay, getting away. Oh, so I've got one more thing to hack. Icky likes being alone, too. Icky, I still say you need a wife, but whatever. <laughs> then again... Being around people too much just gets boring. Ah! You know, I've, I need a Facebook, not a... Oh, friends with benefits is what he means. <laughs> yeah. like you already have a Facebook profile, Icky. He wants Facebook with benefits. <laughs> come on, come on, hack, hack. All right, get away, get away. All right, so now I can just, I don't need to stay and fight the bad guys, I can just get away. I haven't found a lot of items in this level. A lot more loot. Uh, you know, my main thing is like, I like having people around to do stuff with, like TVs and movies. I just enjoy them so much more with somebody else. And I know not everybody feels that way, but it's... Like, I can watch shows by myself a little bit, but movies, I gotta have somebody else. I just can't do it. 
Uh, I grew up with people that I like to talk during movies, and then I had to put up yeah. for how many years with kids that like to uh, ask questions <laughs> about the people who are trying to watch the movies. So I'm like, no, all good. <laughs> All right, can I do this? There's a lot of bad guys in there shooting the crap out of me. So these days I live by a simple rule. Call me when you need something if there's a doctor or a lawyer involved or a cop. Uh, otherwise, don't bother me. Aw. Well, whatever makes you happy. Yep. You do work a lot anyway. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing is I'm definitely a workaholic. Pulling this big thing out, where am I supposed to take it? Escape with the safe. Oh, so I'm stealing a giant freaking safe. That's kind of cool. I'm on a heist. Icky says if he's around too many people that there will be drama. You do cause a lot of drama, Icky. You're basically a drama magnet. Oh, great. Now there's a boss. I'll watch that ah. show. Friends of Icky. <laughs> yeah, that's true. New Malaysia soap opera. <laughs> In the series finale, he finally gives up and just swims to Australia. <laughs> ah, he goes to the movies by himself. Yeah, I've been to the movies by myself like twice in my life. Once was like a repeat viewing of Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. And that was fun. I had already seen it though, also I was just a kid. And the other time I was an adult and it was seeing the Truman Show all by myself. And it was good, but it was lonely. Actually, I just started doing that, doing the movies by myself. Before, that was the one thing I always uh, did with other people. Ah, well, it's better than missing the movie. Good luck, everyone. Uh, my list of movies that I actually want to see has gotten smaller. And too many people I know want to see horror movies, and I'm not into that anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I do like them, but, you know, I, action and comedy are my, er, and sci-fi, of course, are my main go-tos. Ah. The wife is big into horror, though, so that's mostly what we go see. Although we went and saw Bohemian Rhapsody, and we both enjoyed that a lot. So did my uncle, who is, like, really conservative. You know, and these days, conservative means you, you know, you hate the gay people and stuff. So I'm surprised he really liked Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, you know, in, in the heart of every gay uh, or every uh, right-wing conservative uh, beats a raging... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not even going to say it. It's yeah. I, I, yeah, I can't comment on such things either. But, uh, but yeah, I was surprised. I guess it's probably just because he enjoyed the music so much. You know, like queen was of his era and i understand that his brother my other uncle was really into queen and i would love to go see them play because you know they still play and they have a new singer adam lambert and he is really terrific as well what that wasn't what to do Ooh. I, yeah i don't understand and i'm very annoyed so apparently that's an obstacle that wasn't where i was supposed to go oh god no that stupid thing sucks you right in. Yeah, it's supposed to be a black hole, I believe, so yeah, you got to stay away from the event right? Oh, God. Yeah. You know what? I'm not very fond of black holes. <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> Thanks, my Mitch. Okay, so the contest is still going. But I don't feel like playing anymore. Did um, did Sean Sig install the game yet? Did you, Sean Sig? This would be so much better with a partner. They shouldn't even sell it alone. Once again, thank you, Icky. Thank you always for running the contest. It would be so good if we could get other people to help you run the contest too. We still need to do that. But anyway, Icky has been a great supporter of the stream, as you all have. We appreciate it. Love you all. See you next week. And whatever you do, don't hate. Appreciate. Farewell, Earthlings. <laughs> yeah, delayed too, Icky. Yeah. Too bad Tyler had to leave early. What a little SOB.